Hello, I'm Rianne and this is my husband Ben. We sold our business, rented out our house and quit our jobs to travel the world for a year. No mistake, we're still in Kathmandu. We've been here for five days and we are now exploring the wet island sea. We stayed in the east in the Fama area and almost every day we spent there. It's time to take a little venture over the other side of the sea and see what there is to see. Good, Good thank you. you. Do you want a guide for this temple? No, no thank, thank you. you. Swayampu is amongst the oldest religious sites in Nepal. This is very impressive. Just looking up these stairs looks unreal. You can see the start of the temple at the top. Oh, but I'm not good with stairs. There's a monkey's bum. Is he in the voice? I'm going around actually filming the temple. Ben's getting pictures and selfies with people. I'm just chatting away. <laughs> These cylinder wheels are used for praying, the praying wheels. Inside each prayer wheel cylinder is a tightly wound roll of printed mantras. Mantras are short Buddhist invocations of several symbols. Each of the 1,400 paper sheets within each cylinder is printed with about 23,000 of these mantras. That means each cylinder wheel contains 32 million mantras inside. That is crazy. Wow, this is like impressive, isn't it? Yes, it's stunning. Yeah. yeah. But there's like loads of monkeys. If you love monkeys, come here. Yeah. And there's loads of like carved rocks all the way around the main temple. And then there's a look a little temple where they must be doing um, some prayers now. You're not meant to film there. So out of respect we haven't. I was going to say, most people think this is a Buddhist temple. It's also a Hindu temple as well. Oh, is it? Yeah, as well as being. It's actually uh, uh, Buddhist priests that also, Buddhist and Hindu priests that both uh, homage here. Ah, but um, there's an amazing view as well, so we're going to go and have a look at the view and um, see if there's any good picture spots. It looks like it's quite crowded around there. But it cost us um, 200 rupees each to get in. I only had 290 rupees on me, so he let us both get in for that. So. Instagram. <laughs> so this is also called the Monkey Temple because so many monkeys come here because there's so much food. And there's so many tourists, so people eat so much food. Exactly, and there's loads of food stands. I've already seen uh, monkey steal food of someone. Okay. But look at this view, we've got some good Instagram pictures out here. So if you want to see our pictures, go to our Instagram and follow us. Mine's at Rianne Dridge and Ben's is... At Ben's Dridge. In the description description and we'll pop it down below follow us for daily updates it's a nice view but very steep going down whoa i don't like these <laughs> these are so steep well we're heading back now after the temple we just went in the coffee shop and chilled for a bit i had an oreo milkshake it was well nice 
and Ben just had iced coffee. Um, we've got about a 40 minute walk back again, but Ben said there's somewhere to eat on the way that I should hopefully look. So we're heading back. But I'm not really um, happy with my outfit choice today because it's getting really chilly now. And I knew this would happen. So what beer have we gone for today, Benny? Funny you should ask that, man. I've gone for a Nepal Ice, 7% volume. Should I taste test it or not? Yeah. Well, I am going to taste test it. Look at that top on it. Mm. That's right. It's not even, it doesn't taste over the tent. It's not harsh at all. Lovely. Smooth. I'm not, I'm not going to rate it because it's not, not the right time. So these cylinder wheels are prayer wheels. These cylinder wheels. These cylinder wheels.